All right, ladies, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome. So let's get started. This is solving equations with a variable on each side, lesson two, four. Now, this is a, a very strenuous math exercise today, ladies and gentlemen, in order of operations. So please make sure you are on page 101 and that you have your bell workout um, to this particular chapter. So ladies and gentlemen, first things first, please get your bell workout and solve all four of these equations. All right, hopefully you guys took an opportunity to do it. Remember, this is bell work is for you, for understanding, okay? Uh, I already wrote it out to kind of save a little bit of time today. Um, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, this is multiplication. In order to get rid of multiplication, you have to divide by both sides by seven, you get negative eight. A fraction, first thing you wanna do is get rid of it. This would be multiplying by 12 to both sides, okay? When you do that, ladies and gentlemen, you can see in red, I have simplified here, I reduced it, nine and 12 would be three and four, multiply it out, you put it in the calculator, it does reduce down to 64. This one, ladies and gentlemen, you divide both sides by five, okay? I put that in the calculator, hit enter, and that's what we got, negative five, five. This one here is a, lot, a little bit more fun. One thing I wanna make sure you guys understand with a fraction, when you're trying to get rid of it, okay, is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, or the bottom number. So you, you, got, you can't multiply it by P, you don't wanna put P in the bottom, but you multiply by the denominator, okay? So multiply this by negative three, this by negative three, and this by negative three. I made annotations up here, I wrote it out, okay? You put it in the calculator, um, 51 times negative three is negative 153, negative 11, all right? Then we just basically do our uh, break the wall in between, do our uh, basically old school addition and subtractions you learned since elementary school, P plus zero equals 42, and there you go. All right, today we're actually doing four mathematical practices. We're gonna be doing a lot of order of operations today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going over three standards today, okay? A lot of stuff we're gonna be covering. Uh, creating equations, explaining each step, and solving linear equations of the variable on both sides, okay? So this is gonna be a lot to do with your mathematical skills. I cannot preface that enough. So there's gonna be a lot of practice work related to this to make sure that you guys can actually physically do this work. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna solve. Um, one thing you need to do when, before you just go gung-ho in this, ladies and gentlemen, is you need to figure out and make things simpler for you. What I mean by that is when you're looking at this, we need to ask ourselves, okay? So we're gonna split this, make sure I get the right annotation here. We're gonna split this down the middle, okay? Equal sides, because we gotta work on both sides. But what you have to ask yourself is what is the simplest way to do it that avoids a negative variable? That's very important for you to understand. So for example, if I were to subtract 7c from both sides, okay? Just to move from the, to make my natural tendencies to put every all the variables on the left-hand side. If I were to do that, what is five minus seven, all right? That is gonna end up being negative two C. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not wanna do that. Because then that adds an extra step and you gotta multiply by negative and it's gonna get you all confused. So please don't do that. Instead, what you need to do, okay, is actually take the negative five C, okay? Negative five C, all right? Let's do our math across the board. Next thing there, so it's eight. And then this would be plus what? Zero, because five minus five is zero. Seven minus five is two C minus two. All right, now we got one variable on one side, sweet. Now we gotta move anything around the variable to the other side, because remember, this thing stinks, okay? Or whatever kind of affliction you need to think about, just know that you gotta get it to the other side, okay? So, we're gonna add two to both sides, all right? Do our math, this is gonna be 10, this is gonna be zero, so now you have two C. Then ladies and gentlemen, this is what? Remember, multiplication, all right? That's multiplication, the opposite of multiplication is division. Divide by two, and what do you have to end up with? Your C finally equals what? Hopefully you guys understand that. So what I wanna make sure you guys do, please, on your notes, ladies and gentlemen, I left hopefully a big enough section for you guys to do this. I want you to try to solve this, all of these, okay? If they don't fit on your notes, get external paper to work on it. But all of these are very unique in their own way, and I wanna make sure you guys can do them. All 
All right, we're gonna spend probably about 10 to 15 minutes on these, ladies and gentlemen, because this is a lot of work. 3W plus two equals 7W, all right? B, 5A plus two equals six minus seven A, okay? Give me the divide. We're splitting it in two, remember? All right, we're gonna work on both sides. Same thing applies here, okay? We had talked about this earlier. Make sure you guys understand. If I were to subtract seven from this side, which I can, and then this would be zero, but I put it over here, it'd be three minus seven. You don't wanna do that, okay? So let's move the three W over here. All right, when you do that, that's zero plus two, and then this would be seven minus three, four W, okay? Next step, we got the variable by itself. Okay, there's no other extra number, so you gotta get rid of that four. Remember, what is that? That is multiplication. So, since it is multiplication, you gotta do what? Division. Simplify that out. Four divided by four is one. W is all that's left. E equals two over four, which we simplify to one half, okay? All right, next one over here. Hopefully you guys got that. Same process. If I bring the negative over here, okay, it's gonna be positive, right? Plus seven, so let's do that. Plus seven A, plus seven A. All right, we have that, ladies and gentlemen. This would end up being what? All right, this would be five plus seven, which is 12 A plus two, and then this would be six, and then it's a zero. Okay, I'm just putting the zero in just so you guys understand the mathematical part. If you don't wanna keep doing the zero at this point, you don't have to, but it's not gonna hurt if you do. All right, now we got the variable here by itself. We gotta get rid of this number. Get rid of the number, subtract by two, okay? You subtract by two, what do you get? You're gonna have 12A, right? And then this is gonna be two minus two is zero. Uh, I could put it there, doesn't matter. And then six minus two is four. Okay, now we're all by, now there's no other number over here except for the 12A. So now divide by 12, divide by 12. What do you get, ladies and gentlemen? End up with A by itself, because they cancel out, equals one over four, okay? Nice. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll back as I'm, uh, if you don't have this written down, you better pause this video and write it down, because I'm about to erase it. All right, so um, now let's work on the other two. One D, uh, I'm not gonna rewrite those. I don't have enough room, uh, so I have to erase this, so I apologize. Uh, so let's work on those and we'll split them first and we'll go from there. Both of these are unique in their own way. Uh, one of them we're going to want to use a calculator with, ladies and gentlemen, and the other one, not so much. Okay. All right. So let's work on this one first. Uh, what you would want to do is what first? Um, I'm going to go the opposite of what we usually said. Okay. I do not want a uh, negative variable no matter what. Okay. So minus 1.3c, minus 1.3c, okay? Now, what happens when you do this is what, okay? What comes, what's left on this side? Zero. That's why I do want you to write the zeros down, so you guys understand that you actually do sometimes, all right, the only thing on this side is a zero. It's not like nothing goes away, and then this would end up being what? 2c plus 2.8. Now, now what you have to do is you have to move everything from this side of the equation over to here, except for the letter C, okay? So, let's start moving. All right, remember what this actually states, if I were to rewrite it over here, it would be zero equals 2C plus 2.8. We're just skipping it along to make sure you guys understand, okay? So, subtract 2.8, subtract 2.8, all right? When you do that, ladies and gentlemen, you're set up with negative 2.8, because that'd be zero minus, and then 2c. You still gotta get rid of that variable, so make sure you divide by two, divide by two, and then get your calculator out. I don't know what this is. 
off the top of my head. Negative 2.8 divided by 2 is C. Oh, uh, let me write over here. C equals, okay, in this instance, uh, I'll go this way, just so we don't get confused. Come on. All right, C equals negative 1.4. I guess I could figure that out. All right. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, this one's fun. All right, for me it's fun because I real when I'm looking at it, there's multiple ways to kind of shoot shoot this and, and to try to figure out which way to go, what direction. Okay. Um, so what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is two things. Get rid of the fractions. Okay. If I were to multiply both everything here by two, would that get rid of this fraction here? No, because it'd be two over four, which is one half. Then you have to multiply it by two again. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything in this equation by four. So what I mean by that is we're going to, because of all the uh, additive properties and the multiplication properties that we have, you can multiply everything by four. So this is going to be multiplied by four. This is going to be multiplied by four. So is this, and so is this. All right, if we do that, you'd have x over two times four over one, right? And you can simplify that, cross multiply that out to be what? 2x. All right, so this would be 2x plus 4 times 1 is 4 equals, now, because this is 4 over 1, right? 4 over 1 times 4 is 1, so this would be x minus 24, All right? See how that worked, ladies and gentlemen? We basically got rid of the fraction all in one shot. It makes it easier to solve. Now we can do this with relative ease. Okay, so let me change colors here on this slide. Let's go purple. All right, now we have variables, okay? We don't wanna move the negative 2x to both sides, so we're gonna go negative x and negative x. Change that pen size, there we go. All right, negative x. So two minus one is one, so that'd be x plus four. Just keep dropping this down. These cancel out, so it'd be zero minus 24. Now, we have this variable on this side still, so we need to get rid of it. Negative four, negative four. X equals what? Because that's by itself. You have 28. Hopefully you guys understand that process. If you're struggling, let me know. Ooh, yay. Look at this. All right, solving. So if you guys could please turn to page 102. Okay, solving equations with grouping. These are getting more complicated because I wanna make sure as we go through, guys, that we talked about, you can do this. So first thing you'd wanna do is distribute. So let's distribute. All right, because you can't simplify within here, okay, because you can't combine these two because this is 18 and then this is 12 times a number you have to distribute. So what is 18 divided by three? All right, that would be six plus, and then the four, that would be four Q equals six times two. And then don't forget to do the other one. That'd be 12 Q minus 42. All right, move on. Variables, okay? Let's work on the variable part first, like I always want you guys to. So you could subtract 12 from both sides, that would be negative. You do not want to do that. So we're going to go left to right. Negative 4Q, negative 4Q. Well, that's a horrible Q, so I apologize. Um, just cancel out. 6 plus 0. 12 minus 4 is 8. Yes, sorry. <laughs> minus 42. Okay, now we have the 42, we want to get rid of it, right? So. We want to, let's add 42 to both sides, because that's negative, add 42. All right, when you do that, you get 48, and then you're left with 8 cubed. Multiplication, last step is, ladies and gentlemen, to do what? Let's go red again. That's multiplication, you gotta divide. Divide both sides by eight, you're gonna end up with Q equals 48 divided by 8 is 6. Q is 6. Now, to check the solution, 
you plug it back in up here, multiply both. So instead of having Q, you'd have six. You can check your solution. But ladies and gentlemen, I got a whole number. I'm not checking it, okay? You can go ahead and check it if you want or plug it in a calculator, uh, but I want to move quickly, so I'm not going to be able to do that. All right, guided practice two, ladies and gentlemen. This is, make sure you put it on your notes. Uh, you can put G, you can put uh, GP, um, page one, 102, okay? Or guided practice, but work on this and let me know what you get. All right, solve these out, guys. Distribute, first thing, okay? 8s minus 10 equals 18 minus 6s, okay? Distribute this one out. 7n minus 7 equals negative 6 plus 2n. Whoops, not 2. Not plus 2n, because that's a negative, minus 2n. Almost got it. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's divide that bad boy up and solve. All right, so what we have, ladies and gentlemen, variables to both sides. We're going to add 6s. Add 6s. All right, when you do that, it's what? Eight plus six is 14. Minus 10. And then you have over here, 18 plus zero, okay? Now you need to isolate this still. Let's go back to red. Plus 10, plus 10. Solve it, 14S, that's plus zero. And then this is 28, okay? Then, ladies and gentlemen, it's multiplication. So you need to do what? Division. So that's multiplication. Divide by 14, because you cancel it out. S equals two, all right? When you guys do a nice chain of events like that, I, I changed the colors so you guys can see the differentiation, but please know the sequence every time what you're doing, okay? All right, on this one, ladies and gentlemen, same thing, okay? We're gonna move, let's move the 2n over to here. So plus 2n, plus 2n. Now one key thing, if you were to not switch the sign and start working on this and you get all the way to the bottom and you didn't have a whole number, you've gotta look back up and say, okay, did I make a mistake somewhere in the distribution? And hopefully it would come to mind that this would be negative 2n if you made the mistake kind of like I started off with. So two plus, uh, seven plus nine is two, seven plus two is nine, sorry. Uh, minus seven, and then what's left is negative six plus zero, okay? Rock and roll, next step is going to be add seven, okay? So this is gonna be plus zero, and that is negative six plus seven is one. Last step, um, because it's by itself now, is divide by nine, divide by nine, they cancel out, n equals one over nine. Pretty sweet. All right, solve, ladies and gentlemen, finding special solutions. Now, this is still on page 102, and what's gonna happen is, is that uh, you have to see with special solutions what kind of math we're gonna be doing on this in terms of uh, just the complication of it, and sometimes variables may either cancel each other out or they'll equal each other, okay? So in this instance, let's do this distribution first, okay? 40C minus 16 equals, and that is 320, plus 40C, woo! Now, one thing, first thing you wanna do is, remember is to solve the, bring one of the variables. So we split it in half, let's change the color to the red this time, Subtract 40C, subtract 40C. Now, the reason we're doing all the math and the and the step-by-step -step things and writing this down is so that when we get to this point here, you can see what happens. 40 minus 40 is what? Zero minus 16. 
this would be 320, all right, plus zero. Your variables are now gone. What does this mean still? Remember, this means equals. Is this a true statement? Negative 16 equals 320. The answer is no, that is not a true statement. So what happens in this, ladies and gentlemen, is you need to realize there is what? No solution. This one right here, first thing you do is distribute, okay? 4t plus 80 equals, you do the math on that, okay? So five divided by 20 is 4t, and then five divided by that is 80, okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, same thing we've been doing the whole time. Split it, divide it, and solve it. So we're gonna split it up, negative 4t, negative four, oops, almost put 42. Negative four T, do the simple math on it. You come up with what? These cancel out, zero plus 80. These cancel out, zero plus 80. Same thing on both sides. The variable is now gone. So what do you think you have on this? It would be infinite solutions. So what that means is no matter what number you put over here, this side is always going to equal this side. All right, solve these out. All right, with this one, ladies and gentlemen, um, distribution first is 7x plus 5x minus 5, negative 5 plus 12x. Combine like terms. So this is going to be 12x minus 5 equals negative 5 plus 12x. Guess what I see? Double the same thing. Basically, I could stop here and realize one very important aspect. 12x minus five. 12x minus five. Are they the same? Yes, they are. Infinite. This one, ladies and gentlemen, 6y minus five equals, whoops, not minus five. 6y minus 30, sometimes it helps not to go too fast, 20 plus 6y. Okay, now we do our setup, break it in half, write it out, negative 6y, negative 6y. You guys can see you're gonna end up with zero minus 30, and then this is gonna be 20 plus zero. The variables are now gone, does negative 30 equal 20? No solution. All right. All right. Key concepts. Simplify the expressions on each side. Use the distribution property as needed. Use addition or subtraction to move the variables on one side or the other. Use multiplication or division at the end to solve. All right. Final thing here, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure you guys understand, and I'm, I'm leaving this up because the bell is about to ring, so I got to cut this short. Find the value of H, so the figures are in the same area. Here's the equation, okay? What this represents is, remember what the area of a triangle is, is one half times base times height. One half times base times height. So what you would wanna do is actually do one of two things. You could solve it, okay, for H, or ladies and gentlemen, the other possibility is to test it. So you would put a one in here, okay, a one in there, and see if it actually fits the criteria, all right? Uh, you put a three in here, you put a three in here. So what if you put a one, this would be six divided by two, which is three. If I put a one in here, that would be one minus two, which is a negative one, so that'd be negative five. So does three equal negative five? No, it does not, okay? If you put a three in, uh, this would be three times six is 18, so this would be 18 divided by two, okay? I put a three into here, all right? This would be three minus two, which is one. So that'd be 10 over two. Does that match? No, it does not. If I put a four, all right? If I put a four in here, it'd be 24 divided by two equals uh, four minus two is two. So that'd be 20 equals 20 divided by two. Does that match? No, it does not, okay? So what you guys can kind of see is if I put a five in here, if I put a five, it'd be six times five, right? So basically you take this number and you throw it into H. 
and then you'd throw in H here. Now, if you did that, you would have 30 over 2 equals 1 half times, and if you put a 5, 5 minus 2 is 3 times 30 over 1. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, that is the same thing. Okay, you just simplify it like that. 30 equals 30 over 2 equals 30 over 2. Um, last question here, same principle and philosophy. Find the value that had the same perimeter. All right, if it has the same perimeter, how would you actually work that out? You want to work the equation out as the same process. So it would be, remember, a perimeter would be, um, I should run my board, keeps doing that. The perimeter would be adding all the sides up. So it would be 6 plus x plus x plus 6. Okay, so I can simplify that to 2x plus 12. All right, that's the perimeter. Find the perimeter of this one, you're adding all the sides together. So it would be 2x plus 2 plus 2x plus 2, and then you're adding two more x's. All right, for the two sides. So that's one, two, three, four sides, all right here. Now combine the stuff together. All right, so for the, uh, the variables, all right, the variables here, we have two and two, so that's gonna be four. And then how many x's? One, two, three, four, five, six, six x. So my equation is, that's your equation. Now you could test it or we could simply solve it, okay? So let me solve it real quick. Reason, and so I didn't stop this because I know I'm about, bells are gonna ring, negative, whoops, I went the wrong way, don't wanna do that, uh-oh. Almost made my mistake. Split it in half. And then what you guys want to do is, let's move the 2x to both sides. Okay, uh, and then the pen goes out. All right, you move the 2x to both sides. And then you have what? 4x plus four, and then this would be 12. All right, and then you would subtract from both sides. Negative four, negative four, and you'd end up with Extend the page, All right? End up with eight and four x, right? And then you divide both sides by four. X equals two. That, ladies and gentlemen, is letter B. Now you could simply plug it in also from here. Okay, you could have plugged the two in here, but four plus 12 is 16. You plugged it in here. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Multiple ways to solve it. Long lesson, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of work. If you have any questions on this, the homework uh, will be in the comment section. Please do it. Work on getting stuff back and forth. Use the setup I've taught you, and if it doesn't work for you, try something else on your own. But hopefully you guys will understand, since you guys have been doing addition and subtraction like that for since elementary school, on top, vertically speaking, you guys follow the same suit so that you understand how to move stuff from left to right and you don't get confused. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day, and I will see you in school.